Hello, hello. Welcome to our first ever episode of Modeler Mayhem. As usual, I am your host, Val, also known as Foxer 3D on the forums. And um, thank you for coming here and watching us today. Uh, so for all of those that know you, you would probably know that I, I love improv. I love to go. I love the chaotic energy of it all. So why not bring it to something that we could all enjoy? And so we came up with Modeler Mayhem uh, to show you some of the artistic capabilities that our great artists have, and then also uh, some of the cool software that we can use. And so in this case, how it works is that we are able to take a monthly prompt. Uh, this monthly prompt we typically have in the community Discord for Modeler. Uh, if you want to join, there'll be a little Discord uh, QR code up above so that you can click and link into afterward. Um, but basically how it works is that this month's prompt is to bend yourself. And so we have a random object generator and we also have a random weapon generator. And so what our artists have done prior to this is we've randomized one of these crazy objects uh, and we've also randomized one of these weapons. And what our artists will do today is they will go in and create one of these crazy things in the coolest way possible, which is online. And your job as the viewer is able to look in, make your guesses in the chat, toss them in, uh, and we will chat about it because we can both see or we can all see what's going on. And I think it'll be a really fun time. So uh, we have our artists today. I would like to introduce to you David and Nick. Say hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Uh, David, why don't you talk a little bit about yourself for people who don't know you? Yeah. Uh, hey guys, my name is David Malore. Um, online I go by Melomograph and I'm currently a senior motion designer at Wyden Kennedy where I do mostly 3D work. And last year I presented at Adobe Max talking about Substance 3D Modeler and creating characters in VR. Very cool. And Nick, who are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, currently my, my life's kind of tilted, I guess, camera issues aside. Um, but I'm Nick, I'm an artist over here at Adobe, and I also teach at Arts Center and College Design. Um, so this is actually kind of payback for me because I do something very similar in my classes, so my students are probably getting a kick out of this as well. Uh, excellent. Yeah, and so you guys already received your prompts. Hey, how do you feel about it? <laughs> feel pretty be good. interesting, for sure. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, cool. And so how this is going to work is we have uh, Nick and David screen shared up here. They're going to live sculpt this. They each have 15 minutes to make each sculpt, so as close as they can possibly get to that prompt. Um, as you're watching this, we'll make some commentary. We'll see what you guys are saying around what you might think this prompt is, and then at the end of it, we will reveal what the prompt is, and maybe you guys can <laughs> see how closely you got it. Uh, we'll do this twice, and then um, we'll head out. We'll be able to vote on who we think is the best on the social medias afterwards. No mean comments, please. <laughs> uh, it happens. I just don't want to see it. Uh, you appreciate that. Okay. We're so, making weapons. Um, Remember that. Be nice. We're making weapons. <laughs> also, for those who want to participate in the prompt afterward, no guns. That is uh, the cutoff point. We can't share anything that has to do with guns, unfortunately, or fortunately. Alrighty, so we will start um, the countdown. Are you guys ready? Headsets yep. on? Headsets on. Let's go. Beat nice. Because what Brian Pixel says, yes. Did I say Beth nice? Beat nice? Be nice? Oh, oh. Might be running into a little hiccup. All good. No crud. We'll just share Nick's stream instead for now. Yeah. Just got to reset my headset. Very nice. It's yes. a little funky. <laughs> It's good. Take your time. Um, we will start at 1.35 just so that I have everything. So check your headsets, check your uh, gizmos, make sure we're all good. We'll start the rock and roll music. <laughs> and also for those who want to join the Discord, uh, the QR code is also up so you can scan that with your cell phone. Um, I would love for you to, to be able to click that, but that would pause your YouTube stream, so don't do that. Okay. Ready? I think Ooh. so. Yes. Okay. I'm in. Okay. Sounds I'm in the good. digital world. Yeah. Today we have Nick on Oculus Quest or Oculus Meta Quest 2. Mm -hmm. What are you What are you working on, David? Uh, I am working on the Rift S. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Slightly old school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> okay. And we'll also take your tape and let you know when uh, you have 10 minutes left and 5 minutes left. 
So okay, so you know your prompts. People, shout out what you think that they're making in three, two, one, go. We're laughing about this uh, in testing phase because the rock music sounds a lot like a video game that all three of us play. You can, you're free to let us know in chat what you think that video game is and we'll let you know if somebody gets on it. So far, um, Rob thinks he's making a cool basement scene. That would be cool, except for the fact that it has nothing to do with the prompt. So it is one at a time because we can only share it one at a time. Um, David, you'll need to reshare your screen. Yeah, it just crashed. Okay. Oh, no, all good. David's gonna be an extra speedy one. Not me having technical difficulties. Crap. Enjoy some live. Any other time, David, I would feel sympathetic, but uh, if we're going to raise <laughs> the contest. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I get it. <laughs> I get it. This is a competition. There's no excuses in competition. It's all good. And David, whenever you're ready, I'm going to show you a screen too. So yes. David is flexing. He doesn't need all of the time. That is true. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> This is, this is where I show my super move called playing catch up. To be honest, David is by far the model or master in the room. All right. We'll see, I guess. Who that axe is a guess. Um, if it's not an axe, no. But at least it is a weapon. Some of you out here commenting bench and horses. Um. <laughs> Although I guess it does look kind of like a horse. If you squint your eyes and look at it. Let's see what David's making right now. So we'll hop back and forth. And then ten, when they have 10 minutes left, we'll take a dip across. And I'll let you guys know because obviously you can't see in your headsets. Seems like Nick is attaching a very um, long something to his something. <laughs> Shit, gotta, gotta, gotta give me like two minutes here. I need to get out of the, uh, the PG, you know, stage. All good. <laughs> I was gonna say giraffe, but you know. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we'll hop back to David's screen then. <laughs> <laughs> so walk me through a little bit of what your um, what your feelings are on this, David. Um, it's going to be very interesting to convert this particular object into some type of weapon. Actually, both of them, really. But uh, this one in particular, I was just like, how am I going to make this part of the weapon? That's pretty cool. But We've I got. Think I, I think I've got a good idea. Excellent. It's fun because I can't. I, I also know what the prompt is because I have to set this up. Uh, <laughs> so I can't make any guesses. Maybe next time I should just have you guys go together, and then I will also guess along. We also have spaghetti sword in chat. Worm saber. Um, Lego weapon is also another one that could just be the state of affairs right now. Let's go back to Nick and see what you're up to. Wow, Nick has got something going on, that's for sure. Look at that use of instancing. Incredible. And, and the kind of new array tool that they have within the instances. What I want oh, to yeah. play with a bit. And kind of fun to check out. That's looking good. Alright. Gotta make my chicken drumstick. Lego flower shark is another guess that we've gotten in. A whip. So Nick, I know that you're under a lot of time pressure, but talk to me a little bit about what you're thinking of right now. Yeah, so right now, um, it's 
kind of mentioned it a second ago, but there's the new kind of array corner tool. So you can do duplicate in a dolly instance, but if you press on the left and right stick, you can kind of make this array. So I've been messing around with that a little bit um, to kind of create this. Well, and you figure out what the is. Um, make a little more sense. Yeah, cool. um, yeah, just kind of playing out with that rifle to kind of get some different unique forms. Um, yeah. yeah. It kind of reminds you of a bit of a Pokemon for some reason. <laughs> I could see, I could see, well, I mean, like, you know, you have, like, the ice cone and sword Pokemon, so it's not far off. <laughs> uh, I think I just... Oh, it. no, David. No. Go back to yours. Yeah, am I frozen right now? You are frozen. Are you frozen in real life, too? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. Oh, there we go. All right. There you go. In. I didn't crash this time. Nice. Ooh. Gotta keep your poly count slow. <laughs> Poor David, all the fields. You're getting lots of, <laughs> lots of love right now. Be okay. All right, we love an underdog. So I see that you're making incisions there, very fine line incisions. Yeah, just adding some little detail. Just adding some texture to this. It does look like an old popsicle stick a little bit. What I like to do is kind of build a, a kit of repeating elements. Oh yeah. Kind of like a, a little kit of Legos, you know? Oh, interesting. So I think that's All right. Things are starting to take shape, y'all. Yep. Here. We'll hop back to Nick's for a little bit. How you doing, Nick? You look like you've got something festive happening over here. Yeah, doing, doing good. Trying to take all the arrays they've created and give it a little more shape and form. Fighting it a little bit, but I want to block everything out and then you know, details from this later. That's sad. Like if somebody came at me with that kind of a weapon in any kind of <laughs> game, You'd I would be concerned. It's like, is this effective? Or <laughs> I would be very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> um, for any of you who have seen the anime Kill a Kill, the main weapon is a half scissor, and I always used to think that it was like the coolest weapon, but out of context, really, it's <laughs> questionable. It's <laughs> a good series, though. This is a great series. All right, back, David. David looks like he's building a scarecrow of sorts. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Like you're being told to reach back into your inner Halo fanboy. I think that's a message for you directly. I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 I do love my Halo. I, it's, it's been, I don't know, however many years since I've played it, but I think I might know. I'm, I'm so impressed by um, by David's sculpt right now. Like, there's a lot of repeated instances, which is great, but I'm like, whoa, that came together quick. That's what I love to do. Yeah. <laughs> Martin says, looks like a megaphone stuffed together with fudge sticks. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of paranoia, I'm like pressing save every two seconds. Oh no. <laughs> you know, that would be the smart thing to do. I haven't saved yet. <laughs> that crash PTSD right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm on uh, on full just... Uh, Whatever happens, happens. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the sculpt. Nick looks like he's got some kind of zen bonsai elements happening in here. Oh, we love a good warp tool, don't we? What was that about the warp tool? Hmm? Oh, you had a question about the work tool? 
I'm sorry, Nick. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just said that you love the work tool. I thought, I thought you said that question about the work tool. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I was, I was mid, mid warping, and I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a question. I was just saying that I, I personally like the warp tool. It's one of my favorite tools. Oh, yeah. I a sword like tree, Martin says. They call it bonsai. Good one. Five minutes left. Five minutes. Five minutes. I should only give you guys ten minutes. I think you guys are, are at really good points right now. Oh, David's got the, the muscle brush working. Muscle brush, spline brush. Change names quite a fair bit. It has, yeah. It's always going to be the muscle brush for me, though. Oh, yeah. Fun fact for those who use Modeler, um, it is called Muscle Brush because you can make muscles with it. Someone said Zelda Sword. I don't know what kind of Zelda you're playing, but. Oh, this is. I want to play it. <laughs> so now, that, now that somebody said that, it does. I, that wasn't my intention, but I can see, um, I think it's the end of Majora's Mask. You have a sword like this. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I no. can see that the great fairy sword. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 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 the oh, actually, sword. Yeah, you're right. Um, Did you go into this knowing that, or was that just a subconscious choice your brain made against your will? No, that's probably it. That's probably it. Background, like <laughs> reptile brain or something. It's just like. <laughs> Um, Zelda sword, do it. <laughs> <laughs> the new Zelda game's looking pretty sweet. It is, yeah. I, I let's see my comments. <laughs> I'll get internet banned for life. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, we're, <laughs> I, I I'm competing against a hater over here. <laughs> Thumbs up this video for um Zelda Zelda love. Look, I I love my old school Zeldas. I'm I'm an old man at heart. That's <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. David's got some Splorpy, Splorpy Splorps happening. Three minutes left. How long? Three minutes. And so for those of you in, who are guessing in chat, you're getting pretty close in some cases. Um, your weapons are right. I think he, because we've already been talking about swords up there, but, but nobody's yeah. gotten a random object yet, so. I'm making a sword out of Jabu Jabu intestines. Yeah, Jabu Jabu. Gummy bear intestines? Jabu Jabu. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nick. Come on. <laughs> you gotta I'm, know that I'm, one. I'm blind to the chat, unfortunately. Oh, that's right. Unfortunately, I don't know what the, what the Nick didn't want to be heckled in chat, so he turned chat off today. Oh, I get, used to it. I get used to it with my students. I'm, I'm, I'm just used to it every day. I, I don't need any more of it in my There's life. not a whip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got color right now in Nick's. Okay. Alright, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Like color not mandatory, but we will give you extra points. I like extra points. Two minutes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, bless you. <laughs> the stress is really getting to us here. I know. I'm allergic to it. Oh. Got time to refine your forms yet. Tyler says it's a pop sickle, which I think that's a really cool it's thing. It's getting but... really close. Yeah, it's close to a pop sickle. We're getting close. Not a sickle, but not a pop either. All right, one minute. So I, I didn't, I wanted to have like a little times up sound 
but I couldn't. Yeah, I didn't know how to do it. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah. I want to have a Times <laughs> Uptown, um, so I will just make a Times Uptown with my mouth when time is up. Okay. We've got Water Sword. We've got Lolly Sword. Goose Sword. Very close guesses. Maybe not the. Uh... I'm not a good VR painter, I need mean, painter painter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time is up. All right. Okay, so lean back, let's see what you've created. And so for those of you who are watching with us today, um, David, we've got your screen showing right now. Is it uh, looking right? Is it fully, fully framed? Yeah, you are fully framed. The prompt was pudding container short sword. So that is a short sword. Uh, walk us through what you've actually created here, David. What's the, what's the... So I wanted to make the hilt <clears throat> out of the pudding cups. Yeah. And uh, have the actual sword itself be the, the pudding shooting out of one of the containers and then using elements like the little wooden spoon and the, the containers themselves, some lids, just to give it more detail in that hilt. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah, people are saying, oh, like floating sticks. Yeah, you guys were really close. Yeah. You guys were saying like chocolate fountain sword. I feel like that was the closest one that we've seen. There's also some like popsicle sword. Um, Nick, we'll go into yours. Yeah. yeah, show us your, oh, I haven't seen yours for a little bit now that I think about it. Look at that. Yeah, so kind of, I mean, some, some ideas, David. So it had oh, the kind that, of pudding yeah. cup and then the pudding stick lids kind of giving it that hilt um, effect. Yeah. But we wanted to do like a, flowy, more ornate, organic kind of structure. So yeah, it's like that helix and then chocolate swirl effect as nice. best I could. I think the uh, the grouping didn't let me get all the way around. So there's like some gaps there, but okay, a little effect there. Yeah, talk talk to me about what's happening with the different colors in the pudding here. What is that? Was uh, that, that was like a one minute freak out. Like I don't even <laughs> color color. color. <laughs> we got like a vanilla chocolate swirl going on. I feel like I'm back in middle school. You know when you had those Jello pudding cups for lunch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very cool. And then looking back at David's again, you can kind of see the whole pudding, the pudding short sword elements to it. I guess you went with more of like a like a. The Splurpee is the word I'm going to use. I don't know if you can find that in Webster's Dictionary, but you went with like a thicker, like a uh, actual sword base versus Nyx. It's a magical sword, so the pudding yeah. is infinite. I like it. I feel like this would be a sword that I would be okay with being hit by. Um, if, if there was like a monster, like a pudding monster, a monster hunter, this would be the, the sword that you make out of it. It's part of it. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, thank you for guessing, everyone. We will do one more of these. Um, so save your save your sculpts, um, reset your windows. Yeah. And we've got one more <laughs> for everyone. How do you guys feel after that? Warmed up? Doing good, yeah. Yeah, looks good. We also had sap sword. Ice cream sword is another one we had. That's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty, that's it, pretty yeah. really close. It's really cool. Okay. Rob says, practice round, let's go. <laughs> 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 I guess, a little bit. Um, now that your modeler brains are all warmed up, we've got one more. Same premise, uh, they've already seen the prompt. Uh, we also have it. Do you, you don't need a reminder. Oh, was it really <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. No, uh, they know what the prompt is. Uh, we will try to guess it again. Um, and then I will continue to read your, your stuff and I'll pop back and forth between what you guys are going. Um, we will start in, in a minute, just so we have the correct timing. Any last words, you guys? Good luck, Meg. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of looking for reference how to how to make the one thing. Oh, okay. I always, I always do reference. <laughs> All right. David's face is really red. Somebody's saying. I don't know how you can see that behind the mask, but okay. Oh, it was when I had my mask off, and oh. uh, I was <clears throat> saving. Just breathing, breathing hard. And yeah. you have like the mask marks or lines around. Alrighty. 
two, one, let's go. Should we put the rock music back on? I guess so, okay? Yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah let's go. Also, if anyone can remember what, uh, <laughs> what video game might have some more rock music like this, you're also welcome to share that in the chat. I know a couple of people in this chat who would know the answer. <laughs> They're allowed to speak up. So again, same thing. Uh, at 10 minutes left, we will let you know. At five minutes left, we will let you know. Um, feel free to make your guesses in chat. Uh, oh, Amber says Splatoon. She is 100% right. We actually got into a really long <laughs> conversation about that. <laughs> I like that we start all the way from primitives because you honestly can't guess what these prims will look like at all. Yeah. Looks like Nick is making some shapes. Definitely shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more to it, hopefully. Nick, are you making shapes? I'm, oh, oh. Dude, we talked about this. You can't make shapes. <sighs> Sorry, it just, it just defaults all the way back to it. <laughs> what the heck, man? You have your grid up, and now you don't have your grid up. What's happening there? Uh, I have the grid up when I want to snap things and make like straight shapes. It's a more finite way of measuring. Yeah. And since I'm making this uh, this first part of my weapon pretty symmetrical, <clears throat> I want to make sure that the the shapes look nice and straight. Nice. Pop we'll back to Nick's. Nick has got something. Ratatouille inspired, it looks like almost. Knife, butter knife, sword, combat knives. <laughs> That's not a knife. Not, not... Lots of cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like part one's already of the. Uh... The random object that we got for this one, I realize has a little bit of crossover. But that's okay. You can yeah. In for a little okay. bit. It is a random prompt after all. We don't choose the prompt. The prompt chooses us. The prompt chooses us. I mean, again, this is all pivot. So in my class, I'll, we have like a, you know, they'll get a, a, a brand, two random brands to work with as like a little mm -hmm. exercise to get used to the app. Oh, yeah. One of my students a couple years ago, he got New Balance, was like the main brand they did work with for their base oh. model. And then they had to do a collaboration with Hidden Valley Ranch. Um, so oh, I feel like I don't remember that. that. <laughs> yeah, David was a guest in that class uh, as a guest <laughs> critique. Um, <laughs> I feel like it was all payback for that student. So uh, Shane, if you're watching, you can, uh, <laughs> all, all for you, buddy. <laughs> you better have given him an A. <laughs> he did. He did a great job. <laughs> he absolutely did. Okay. Ranch. That's funny. I like it because it's a specific kind of ranch too. It's not like craft. It's hidden valley. Hidden valley. <laughs> <laughs> it's bougie ranch. Is it bougie ranch? I don't know. I've never bought <laughs> Hidden Valley Ranch, I realize. I have to go check the price if I want to know. <laughs> they were just like, ooh, it's Hidden Valley. It's like, mm, it's basically ooh. ranch. I'm going to go to a five-star restaurant and if they don't serve Hidden Valley Ranch, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up this video hidden, for hidden ranch. <laughs> I'll be hidden the ranch that restaurant. Shows me. David's coloring as he moves. Yeah. Bold, bold play. How much time we got? Uh, you are now at 10 minutes left. 
for the yeah. Oh, something's happening over on Nick's side. He's attaching his his objects to a sphere <laughs> in a multitude. That was actually very fun to watch. <laughs> well, let's see if I can fight this array. I feel uh, like I'm watching Naruto right now. <laughs> do it. <laughs> the array Tyler says, murder ball. <laughs> Come on. I want to do this. I mean, I that would actually right. be an awesome <laughs> prompt. If someone said your art prompt for this month is murder ball, I feel like we would get <laughs> all kinds. Sounds like a when sport. I was, yeah. When I was a kid, I used to love this movie called Ants. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen it, but in oh, one, yeah. oh, that the in one section. One? Pardon? Is that the G-Marx movie? I think so, yeah. 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 And at one point in time, all of the ants get together and they form like a wrecking ball. And then like, the guy yells, be the ball. And so watching be the next stream, I'm just hearing the guy yell, be the ball. Be the ball. Be the ball. Yeah, no, that's not Bob's life, no. <laughs> Similar, but different. Knife fan, we've got knife death star. We've got another guess. No, but Death Star would be such a cool random object. I feel like we should always just combine random objects with other things. And that would be this Mongo Bayhem stream. <laughs> yeah, it was a Sylvester Stallone ant. I love that people know what this movie is. Uh, incredible. Incredible. Oh no. Oh, okay. Back to David's. David, it looks like you've got a little something happening. <laughs> you can also see the, the, the um, David Malore. Malore? That is how you say your last name, right? I feel like I'm always. Yeah, Malore. Malore. Art style. It's like you can, whenever you see a gradient in Modeler like that, I'm like, oh, I think that's David's. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I do love my gradients. Oh, we got steak knife. That's pretty close. Great marshmallow use. Good job. <laughs> Is it a hot steak knife? I mean, it's it looks like, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of gradients, I'm gonna give us a little bit of color variance. You know, in Modeler, I really wish that there was some level of um, physics. So when you finally have your objects that you've created, you can smash them together. But I guess you can do that in Stager after the fact. Got like a cloth simulation in here. Yeah. Cool. Okay, back to Nick's stream. Nick. <laughs> Well, what kind of? <laughs> I, I, had, I had a very hard time with the array, and I was fighting it for a while. I'm like, all right, you know what? This this is what it is. We're, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Just gotta get to the rest of it. I'm amazed at what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> amazed, appalled, impressed. Uh, there's definitely an adjective that exists that we could say. <laughs> People like to um, to see what you guys are doing um, back and forth. That was the feedback that we got. We will continue that then in further episodes of Modeling Mayhem. Sweet. Back to David. David's, uh... wow, yep, you're definitely, <laughs> <laughs> yikes. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I'm gonna get a call from HR after this. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like, hey, they'll be like, no, no, it's, it's art. We've got mace, lots of maces. 
When I was a kid, I used to love uh, the original Bruce Timm's Justice League, and I remember Hawk Girl he used to have that big old magic maze. It was my favorite thing ever. I always wanted one. Looking at um, Nick's item, I <laughs> somehow feel like less inclined now. <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> Like, you know when you've got a scooter and you're holding it and you know that the bottom's gonna swing around and then it hits you in the shins and it's just gonna happen. That's, <laughs> that's the kind of anxiety I'm getting. <laughs> um, okay, we're at five minutes left. Five minutes? Refine your forms. Yes, it is a non-lethal maze, PG-13. It is only in 3D after all. <laughs> Rob and if you were to pick it, it would probably be. Oh, pardon, David? Oh, sorry. I was saying, uh, Rob is saying a medieval teaching mace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's be honest with you. If I were in Fortnite and somebody gave me this weapon, I'd be like, yeah. This is it. This is what I want. <laughs> this is what uh, this is what happens after uh, steak night and scrubs. <laughs> Fork knife. <laughs> oh, oh no! Man. The puns. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're people, too, behind the stream. I would appreciate <laughs> not the stream. We love it. Keep it coming. It would be nice to get a fixed cam for recording at some point. I agree. I'm curious. Do people who watch this feel like they are getting ill because of the first-person perspective? Does that happen frequently? I've heard from some people that uh, they get a little turned around by it. Mm, interesting. I mean, so long as you're not, like, rotating your head. It's what's challenging about it is you have two axes of movement because you have the camera controls and you have the head controls. So when you have both of those yeah. moving at the same time, it gets really yeah. That's true. I'm watching this wagyu marbling that's happening. Yeah. Look at that! Incredible. Going back to mix. Is getting fancy with um, some stuff over here. <laughs> I, I was going to try to describe what I was looking at, and then I realized I could not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need, it, 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 needs, it needs a little color. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can see it. I love a good cut through like a, a voxel material. We can see like the little lines on it. I don't, it makes me feel very happy. It's like ASMR in my brain for some reason. <laughs> All right, we've got two minutes left, and then we will showcase, and then we can talk about what you guys made. Refine your forms. You guys really refine your forms, eh? <laughs> One minute. Ah. We've got tiny knives now. Knives. I have, I'm gonna have a floating knife, I have something connected to the array, and I don't have time to figure out exactly what it is, so it's gonna be a flying, flying knife. Part of That's it. good, I like it. Alex says you could cut the tension with a knife. Oh. <laughs> 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 Alright, five, four, 
And amazingly, the music also stopped at exactly the same time. So <laughs> perfect. It was like I wanted it. <laughs> All right, let's go through then. Um, Nick, we've already yes. we're already looking at yours. Why don't you show it off? Talk us through what we're looking at. What is what is okay. the prompt? All right. So this was the prompt was steak knife flail. So started off with my making a steak knife itself. And then I was having quite the time with the array tool. So wasn't quite working as well as the last, the first piece. So now we just have an, a chaotic mess of knives on the flail. Nice. Um, and then wanted to have it tenderizing a steak. So the, you know, maybe you're hitting it too hard when the steak knife goes flying off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but you're also tenderizing it while you're mid-biting it. So, you know, you're, just extra time. <laughs> you gotta you gotta test it at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, I, um, yeah, you can't serve it to a to a you know a guest without having to bite first. <laughs> but, um, yeah. David, have you ever been to a Nick um, barbecue before? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to now. <laughs> I hear this is how we tend to ride in the States. <laughs> All right, David, let's walk us through um, your creation. So my- uh, full color, by the way, amazing. Full color, yeah, full Technicolor. So, steak knife flail, um, but I used the actual steak to hold all the knives together. And oh. um, I was doing a little bit of, like, research. And oh, I was yeah? like, what, what kind of steaks have bones in them? And one of them is like a, it's called a crosscut shank. So it has like that big part of the, the leg in there. So I used that to hold the keychain together. Oh, cool. And then just uh, jabbed a bunch of steak knives in there. So it's a, yeah. it's a shank full of shanks. It is practical. Um, but you could create this in real life is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is terrifying. Uh, and we do not condone that on the stream, by the way. Nobody <laughs> try to make this. <laughs> Uh, but yes, very cool. And so, uh, yeah, we're going back and forth a little bit, but thank you so much for coming on and creating your objects. Uh, we will get you to post screenshots of those and then we'll have the general public vote on Twitter, I assume is what people use mostly for the social medias. Uh, we will yeah. also have it on the, the Discord as well for those who want to join. Uh, QR code is in the top right hand corner there. Um, but yeah, really excited to have had you guys on here and create your things. How did you find it? Did you like doing the prompts? How was Modeler for creating it? I think. It was fun. Um, I rarely do like randomized prompts and create something new out of it, but yeah. now I want to do more of this kind of stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you'll be back is what we're hearing. Absolutely. Nice. What about you, Nick? No, I mean, it's great. I, I love it. Like I, I wish I can use it more because, like, um, it's kind of other stuff to get caught up with and work, but it's always a, the go-to one. Like, I just need to break, I just need to have fun. I just need to just hop in and make something quirky and weird. Um, but you can get really nice, quick results out of it really quickly. Like this one, uh, you can really do some like this, this fast in the programs. Yeah, that looks really cool. And so, um, what do you think? Favorite between the two of them? What did you prefer making? I think I like the pudding sword more. The the steak knife yeah. flail was like ridiculous and I love the concept of it, but <laughs> I like, because I like doing all the swirls and stuff on my own artwork, like I just kind of gravitated yeah. more towards the the pudding short sword. Okay, cool. I, I, I'm the opposite only because I, okay. the second I embraced the chaos of just like, all right, we're just going to go full array, we're just going <laughs> to go for it. You know, was, even though I was fighting it a little bit, I'm just like, once I embraced it, I'm like, okay. Like yeah. I had way more fun with it, so. That's uh, good. Yeah, it's uh, play well. some more. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for both coming on. Um, hopefully we'll have you back in future for more Modeler Mayhem stuff. Yeah, if you guys liked it in chat, you're more than welcome to toss in um, ideas for prompts, what you would like to see next, if you want to do, or if you do want to see more stuff next. Uh, and yeah, appreciate you guys coming on. Appreciate you guys for watching. Ooh, thanks for having us, everyone. Yeah.
All right, we'll see you guys later. Cool. See ya. Ciao.